All right, guys, so here we go. We got some new reporting from the Washington Post. Let's see what they say. Now, I'll break it down as we go here. I'm not sure I believe the headline because um, the specifics, the devil's in the details, and the specifics uh, paint a slightly different picture than what we're being led on to believe. So in the Washington Post, they say, Biden signals he's open to canceling student loans. In a closed-door meeting with lawmakers, the president suggests a new openness to a politically sensitive idea he has avoided until now. President Biden gave his strongest indication yet in a private meeting with House Democrats that he is poised to take significant action to relieve student de student loans, a move that could include canceling tens of thousands of dollars in debt for some people. Borrowers, some people. Borrowers are currently benefiting from a moratorium on paying off their student loans that lasts until August 31st, a pandemic-induced pan uh, pandemic pause that began under the Trump administration. The White House has come under considerable pressure from the liberal wing of the Democratic Party to cancel the liabilities outright, rather than repeatedly extending the moratorium as it has been doing. Biden and centrist Democrats have expressed skepticism, however, about the wisdom of burdening taxpayers with the debt of students who voluntarily took out loans to attend uh, pricey private universities. To address such concerns, a Biden move could target lower and middle income borrowers. So we're not talking about universal getting rid of it here. We're talking about means testing it. Lower and middle income ones will eliminate it for them, maybe, or some amount of it for them, but not for the ones who come from upper middle class families, for example, because wealthy families don't take student loans. They pay for it. Uh, during a lengthy meeting with members of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus on Monday, Biden signaled multiple times that he was prepared not only to extend the current moratorium, but to potentially take executive actions, canceling some of the debt altogether. According to two House members in attendance and two aides briefed on the meeting's contents, Representative Tony Cardenas uh, initially raised the issue with Biden during the meeting. In an interview, Cardenas said he first asked the president to extend the moratorium past its current August 31st expiration date, and Biden responded with a smile, well, Tony, I've extended it every time. Cardenas said he then urged the president to issue an executive order to relieve at least $10,000 in student loan debt per person. In making his case, Cardenas said he told Biden the Latinos in the United States who are carrying student debt still have more than 80% of their bill due after more than a dozen years. Biden was, quote, incredibly positive about the idea, Cardenia said. Another lawmaker in attendance, Representative Darren Soto, said Biden's response to lawmakers' request to cancel at least some of the student debt was essentially that he would like to do it sooner rather than later. The president suggested he is looking to take the executive action in short order, telling the Hispanic lawmakers that they would be very happy with what he does next, according to aides briefed on the meeting. Okay, that's a big point. That's a big point. If he tells them, look, you guys are going to be really happy with what I'm doing next. That tells me he's probably going to do more than just extend the moratorium again. That tells me there's some action coming. The question is, how far reaching will it be? The bare minimum of what he could do is $10,000 of student loan debt elimination. That's the bare minimum. And he promised that previously. At times, he said $50,000. Um, there was some times where he said he was going to get rid of it, but I think he probably misspoke because he has said harsh things about the idea of getting rid of it as well, as we'll get to. But... It looks like he might eliminate 10000 but with, that's the bare minimum again, but it also looks like he may do that um, while means testing it. So only for people who make under a certain amount of money a year, come from families that make under a certain amount of money a year. Such a move could prove pop a popular selling point for Democrats in the upcoming midterm elections. You don't say. By the way, probably the reason why he's thinking about this now is because his numbers with young people absolutely imploded. He's he had, he had like the same approval rating as Trump with young people or even less than that. So young people are like, we're not buying it. We don't like you. And so he's got to do something to shore up support from the young. Still, Biden stressed that the timing of any announcement on loan relief was sensitive since he doesn't he does not want to add to inflationary pressures. That's what they say publicly. Oh, we don't want to add it to inflationary pressures. I think in reality, he might be trying to time it with the midterm elections where he could do it and then and then get the maximum benefit at the time. So hopefully people will turn out to vote for him. That might be what he's doing. The president suggested to the lawmakers that he understood the burden of student loans on a personal level since he recently finished paying off his late son Bo's outstanding student debt. Biden often brought up that story on the campaign trail when discussing the subject with voters. Quote, I feel very confident the, that he is pushing on his team to do something and to do something significant, Cardania said in an interview. That's my feeling. The issue of forgiving student loans has long been politically fraught. Liberals argue the higher education should be relatively inexpensive for everyone as it is in European countries. The soaring cost of college, they argue, is a central barrier to social advancement in this country. But many conservatives take issue with the notion that wealthier people have chosen to attend pricey schools should have their debts erased while those who went to less expensive schools or decided to forego college altogether would get little or no benefit. Uh, the debate is also unfolding at a time when some Americans, especially in rural areas and on the conservative ends of the political spectrum, are questioning the value and desirability of a college education in the first place. For much of his presidency, Biden has not been warm to the idea of outright student debt cancellation. In an interview with the New York Times... 
columnist David Brooks last year, Biden reacted dismissively to the idea, saying, quote, the idea that you go to Penn and you're paying $70,000, a total of $70,000 bucks a year, uh, and the public should pay for that? I don't agree. Mm. Of course. The president has also stressed that any debt relief plan would be focused on lower and on lower income and underprivileged students. So again, means testing. During the presidential campaign, Biden wrote in a 2020 Medium post that he favored a plan to forgive student debt for low-income and middle-class Americans who have attended public colleges and universities as well as historically back colleges and universities. In that post, Biden spoke of an immediate cancellation of minimum of $10,000 of student debt per person, adding that those earning less than $25,000 per year would not have to make monthly payments and would accrue no interest. Okay, so this, this goes on. Um... Look, he has the authority to do it. We know he has the authority to do it. The question is, does he want to do it? And after reading this article, my guess is, here's where I'll move my prediction. My prediction will is either he's going to do nothing. <laughs> like that's, that's possible, right? Or he will eliminate $10,000 for... Um, and means tested. So for people under a certain income threshold or from families under a certain income threshold. So he's going to means test it. It'll be for middle income and lower income people and it'll be $10,000. Now, the reason I say 10000 and not higher is because usually when they give you an option, this or this, it's always the worst one. Like, oh, at least 10000 No, that means 10000 Okay. So it'll be that or maybe even lower than that. We'll see. But he's not going to do 25000 I don't think. He's not going to do 50000 and he's not going to do it across the board. In reality, he should just eliminate all of it. $1.7 trillion student loan debt elimination. Look, we spent $7 trillion in the Middle East on these wars and nothing came out of it except more terrorism and massacring civilians and all these problems. Um, as a matter of principle, people shouldn't have to go into massive debt to improve themselves and improve their jobs prospects and go to college. I think it should be treated the same as high school. I think it should be totally free. Um, not even a small fee. It should all come out of taxes. But... It, He's not going to go that far. He doesn't agree with me. He doesn't believe in, like, strong, universal, social democratic programs. But my guess is he'll either do nothing or it'll be $10,000 or less, and it'll be for people who are middle income and low income. That's my guess. And we'll see. We'll see. This article does have some genuine indications that he's going to do it, but also it could just be bullshit. He could just be lying. I mean, he's had Trump moments before where he just flat out lies. It, in fact, it's kind of common with Biden. So we shall see, but this is the chatter that's, that's going around now. If you want to see me and Crystal Ball interview legends like Noam Chomsky, Cornell West, and more, subscribe to Crystal Kyle and Friends on Substack. $5 a month gets you the video version a day early. Remember, we take zero ad dollars for this podcast. Or you can sign up on Substack for free and get the audio version a day later. Link in the video description box below.